Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we will be talking about how to increase the pH in your aquarium. So, um, I thought of doing it for you guys because I've done one on how to, how to reduce the, the aquarium pH in a natural way and um, it seems like pretty much every aquarist um, kind of need that because um, things happen in an aquarium over time and there are sudden changes. And with an aquarium you never know what's gonna happen anytime it could you know anything could happen anytime so um yeah so that's one of the reasons main reasons i'm uh, thought of just sharing this video with you guys but unfortunately um last time with the decrease i actually went through a situation where the ph had dropped so i was able to take it through my tank and um um, show you how to do it um, but this time I never had a you know I had never had a situation of my pH uh, uh, um, to increase because I, I maintain a tropical fish tank you know I always keep my pH at about 5, 6.5, 8 ish you know sometimes you know, 7 within that range you know it's kind of okay but um, but for certain tropical fish tanks like you know it depends uh, depending on what fish you have and uh, what plants you have so you might need high ph so that's when this comes to this becomes very really helpful and you don't want to do it in, always in a chemical way you know it's just not the right way to do things you know because you, you're doing this is a hobby kind of thing that's what i i i see that so you you want to put in your effort and you know try to find our best and uh, natural ways to get um uh, get your uh, whatever your desire is so anyway so let's get into what we're talking about how to increase the ph in a natural way um few things why you might actually might need to increase the ph there, you know so it, there might be a couple of situations one you know your ph has gone down so you're just trying to increase your ph uh and the other thing is you just you're just setting up a fish tank you know which actually requires high ph so like if you're having a cichlid tank you know American cichlids, all these African cichlids. I actually don't have those, but um, I assume they need um, higher pH than the normal tropical fish. Certain plants do as well. Like you know, if you have a um, planted aquarium which has um, certain kind of plants which actually needs high pH, and you know if that's their natural environment, if that's that's where they grow, so they still needs to be. Um, you still need to replicate their. Um, you know wherever they come from you know all those plants where they come from and what kind of conditions they come from so if the high pH if the water is in a high pH you have to maintain your um, water levels in your tank at high pH so normally all tap water that you actually most of the people use is tap water so tap water is always most of the time depending on the location as far as in my country like where I come from um, the pH is about 6.5 or within that seven range you know it's always slightly acidic but not very much in uh, it's kind of a neutral that's what we expect but um, just want to emphasize one point um ph there's the acidic part that's how they measure it and then you got the neutral and then you got the alkaline so anything that is if you if the ph stays at seven which means it's neutral so anything any few any any numbers that come you know after you after you um do uh, do the pH check, and if it comes below seven, of course it's your water is acidic, and um, you don't want it to be too acidic because um, certain uh, certain fish doesn't like this. And anything above seven is more alkaline, and certain um, you know likewise you know certain animals and plants, say fishes and plants don't like a high pH. So you gotta maintain that balance. But anyway. Now talking about the how, how to increase pH in your aquarium in a natural way, I'm just gonna go through a few pictures for you. Uh, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. So gonna go through a few pictures, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say you how to increase the pH in a natural way. So um, the first uh, first one of the, one of the easiest way is. Um, corals you know crushed corals that's what people do you know you can, it's it's an easier way to actually in, increase your ph in your aquarium in a natural way you know it's just not any chemicals or anything like that it's all natural stuff but all you need to do is just you know kind of corals anything to do with kind of corals like you know there are several 
um, you could say like one that likes on the like uh, one uh, sorry one that is like on the picture see it's it's a coral skeleton and you can have um, uh, what do you say crushed uh, you know or this oyster whatever the crushed corals or you know crushed oyster shells and you know there are different kinds of things that you can buy from the from your local pet store you don't need to even buy those stuff you know you just run down the, you know your beach if you if you live nearby you know just just grab a few you know just break it you know break it into smaller pieces make sure it's not too fine you know because if you put it into your filter it's, it's actually going to um get in the way of the impeller and then you know you're gonna end up breaking the filter so make sure it's it's um you know it's about two three millimeters something like that you know um kind of um uh, something like that and then um there are several ways you can actually use them um a use them in your tank you can put it into the bed of the tank you can actually oh you can just put it into a filter a permanent filter or into one of those filters if you temporarily want your ph to go up you know you have a main you have a tank that you maintain at about seven and and the ph has gone down to about six so you want to bring it to up to seven so you just you know you can you can have a temporary filter where you just put some crushed corals in one of those mesh bags and put it into your into your filter and you know you won't get the results immediately but over time maybe after a couple of few hours you know by the end of the day you you would have you would see a significant change in in the ph you know it's definitely going to increase so yeah so you can buy these from the local store it's not very expensive as well at the same time you don't need to spend money you can just you know get some corals you might have a few um you know seashells or you know all these um you know all these things are made very rich in calcium carbonate so um whatever that's rich in calcium carbonate like you know this um oyster shells you know you can just easily get get those you know uh wherever we go so yep yeah, there you go guys that's one of the best ways to increase your ph in your tank so i'll just run through a few um other pictures to show you yep yeah, so that's that's kind of a oral thing that you can actually find around uh, uh, um, almost in most of the beaches and uh, so that's also a coral, coral skeleton and so this is um, some mosca shells like you know all this kind of shells that you can actually find obviously yeah I think there might be a few anyway in every house that you know whenever you went to the beach you collected a few so crush them down put it into your you don't need to even crush them down sometimes just put it into your tank to you know as a decoration you can do that as well just put it into your tank as a decoration but and then um, if you want to keep it for a long time yes you can keep it like that and it will make sure you you um, you you can um, uh, it will keep your ph at a stable level at a higher level so um that's that's um so oh yeah that's what i was talking about that's the other picture that's the crushed corals um so i've just put up a sample thing actually these pictures were from the google that i've just uh, downloaded and you know just wanted to show share with you guys so this is the size of uh, the crush cars it looks like about two three millimeters in size so yep you can do the same on your own you don't need to waste money going to the pet shop to buy them um so that's about the crush coral guys so the next uh, thing should be Uh, these are dormite chippings actually you know you can get these at you know landscape shops like you know gardening stores or anything like that you know you just go grab a, you know a small bag all these chips these are these are these are kind of uh, rocks you know those are um, crushed down into small chippings and um, these things have this can this uh, what is it these dormite chippings are actually increasing uh, your the pH in your tank so it's it's got uh, it's very rich in calcium and magnesium so pretty much magnesium would help you if, if you have a planted tank you know that uh, that will help you to you know for for your plants and um, at the same time the calcium you know that would actually help to increase the ph of the tank you know uh, it'll always make you make sure your ph is in a high higher level so you can you can find this in your um, you know local pet store as well like you know it's it's pretty much available in most uh, pet store and even if you couldn't find it 
you just go on down to one of your local um, you know garden stores landscape, st uh, landscape stores you can pretty much find it much more cheaper in one of those landscape shops you know um, rather than going to your pet shop so that's that's an easier way and um, just make sure you know it's just not too fine the chippings like I said you earlier when you put it into your mesh bag and you need to filter um, yes um, yeah it's uh, it's big enough that it doesn't actually goes with the water into your impeller and then ruin your filter so yep so be careful about that guys you also can use this in the bed of the tank so or you can just put it on the bed of the tank you can use this as a decoration too on the, on the bed these are, white, these are white stones so it looks really cool sometimes depending on your microscaping what kind of um, background you got so yep so kind of very useful so yep you can use these too in a natural way um, so uh, most people I think they use it for marine as well I'm not quite sure about how marine works but uh, because they do have need a higher pH most marine have so they tend to use dolomite chippings as well to um, keep the um, pH in a high, um, high level so anything beyond 7.5 or 8 something like that um, I don't want to get into detail with the marine so uh, I don't have much experience to be frank so um uh, the okay that's, that's what I've just gone through with uh so much being sorry I should have done that a bit. Um now these are limestones basically. So these are limestone chips. You can find limestones as well to decorate your your tank, you know most um what I should say like what you say cyclic tanks and you know the South American, you know, all those all those kind of tropical fish, they need um high pH. At the same time, yeah, you know, you just they 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 need they need rocks, they need rocks in the tank, they need they need spaces to hide. So pretty much people use a lot of different things to make sure you know they they ecoscape, you know, they, they they do the ecoscaping in the tank, you know, in a way that's more suitable for the fish. So you can use these uh, limestones as as a as a way of um, you can take double advantage by you know escaping at the same time you can use you know the the ph it'll it'll help you keep your ph in a higher level so you sh uh, you guys can think about it if you do have a sticky tank don't use this in a fresh water tank you know because you don't need high, high as a decoration um in, in your fresh water uh, the normal tropical fish tanks uh, because you don't need higher ph so if you really wanted to increase your pH in the tropical fish tank, you know, just gone down to six point, and you want to get it up to seven, you can use these chippings in your filter, and um, help to um, increase your pH. So there are several, you know, um, limestone, you know, different ways. Um, uh, Oh, this is yeah this that's this that's what's on the screen at the moment is actually called for certain holy um, texas holy rock or something like that. yeah it's it's kind of a limestone it's it does have uh, this weird shapes and it comes in really weird shapes with a lot of holes and stuff so it's very suitable for a cyclic tank you know where they need spaces like you know cyclics they need uh they need to hide they need spaces to hide they need spaces to hide breed so they are very territorial so you need you need some of kind of some things like this you actually in your cyclic tank and um, so it'll help you in both ways one it's a limestone helps you increase the pH keep the pH at a high level at the same time it's going to be helpful for your fish as well you know for hiding spots and all those stuff so um, uh, it's very hard to find these in most uh, most countries these holy rocks you know I, I live in New Zealand it's pretty much very really hard to find it over here and even if I could find it it's damn too expensive that I could afford I don't want to spend so much money on those so I'd rather get some you know limestone chippings or dolomite chippings um, or even crushed corals that I've just you know just like to find around in the beach crush them put it into my filter you know get your pH uh, to the desired level as you as you require so so that's kind of um, that's another way to increase your pH. Um, yep. Yeah. Now, um, okay. This is one of the final the the the, the, the last method uh, kind of that I was wanted to discuss with you. This is it's kind of an algae, so, but they're called macro algae. It's um, 
it's algae but it's it's, it's a plant kind of thing you know it just uh, um, it looks like plants but the algae they help you you know I don't find any of these in New Zealand around uh, in the local pit store and other. I couldn't get hold of any of these uh, unfortunately if I could have done that I you know I would have used them in my tank um, uh, as plants you know they look really cool as well so it wasn't it won't keep the pH at really really high levels but it help you maintain higher pH levels so these macro algae is um, pretty useful as well if you could get hold of some of these you know wherever you um, you live by you know if, if it's very accessible yeah I rather um, go for it uh, I will I will check it out to see how 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 actually um, it helps in tank you know whether I, I haven't gone through this I haven't experienced it I'm not sure whether it will do the maximum but as far as I researched I think it does help you in keeping a high pH in your tank so um, and they also look really great you know as for aquascaping you know they 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 um, yes so pretty much uh, this that's it guys so this these are the four four kind of natural ways that you can actually i think that is the yep uh there could be other ways but uh, the, you know the chemical ways and all those stuff but i i don't want to actually uh go into chemical most of the time unless you know i find a really difficult uh, then you know i can't be really really bothered about it i just don't have the time so i might use chemical but uh, most of the time i tend to go naturally that's where i, I enjoy my hobby and um i um i thought of sharing with you guys as well so if you guys did uh, you know benefit out of my video please uh, subscribe to my channel like the video you know just add any more you know if you got comments if you've got more things to discuss you can of course you know leave comments in the comment section and i'll get back to you guys as well you know we need we need uh, people to actually you know interact and you know, really, um, you know people different people got you know other other ways of doing things you know we just need to share so yeah so thanks for watching guys and i hope it has benefited you guys as well so um yeah have a great day and we will see you soon again with another video all right then cheers bye bye